I was thinking of doing this in my second channel, but I decided that it's a lot more appropriate if I do this in my main channel where I actually hit a thousand subscribers. So here we are, 1000 subscribers and I hope this is a milestone that will just get surpassed. Like I'm not saying that this is not a, like a wordful achievement. This is my first ever 1000 subscriber channel. I've dreamt of doing something like this and I'm super glad that I have a community or couple of people that will support and see what I can make. I want to achieve more, you know, I want to make this our full-time career because like if this whole YouTube doesn't work then I don't think it will ever work for a couple of time now. I haven't actually revealed my age in this channel, of course. You can sense that I'm some sort of teenager, but I'm actually approaching 18 years old next year and I will be entering college that year. So in that time span, a lot of things are gonna change. Some things are gonna go, some things are gonna introduce to myself, and I don't think time is gonna be one aspect where it will introduce more because I'm not someone that is the best at time management. Of course, you can see my upload schedule being horrendous, but I want to make some time for at least doing what I love. And one of them is doing YouTube, but it's getting harder and harder when you're approaching an age where you have to make a lot of decisions to yourself that have to be long term. So stuff like occupation, education, and considering your financial stability and your living standards you just have to just think of all of that while being such an age where you have to begin those but i don't want to talk all of this like struggles of age like we're talking about me right now this is about me this is about what i did 300 videos and two and a half years of making content of whatever i felt like and i amassed over a thousand subscribers painstakingly because I drew all of my energy into the swords, into this uh, into this content and then I just passed away. You don't see me doing anything else other than Minecraft and then just I just I just need some time off because this video will probably be posted days maybe maybe a week after I hit a thousand because I just really need a break a short break. But doing that going from 900 subscribers to a thousand subscribers I announced that I will be doing a Q&A only two of you motherfuckers gave me questions. It's for questions, but like, hey, it's better than nothing, you know. The first question is, why is your art so good? And I think the person is directing to my artwork of when I post a community post, thanking you all for a thousand subscribers. And I'm gonna say this now, I'm not really good artist. I, I don't know any sort of uh, rules of kind of like knowing the body parts or like the head. I just like did what I do. And about the pop up picture, it's just literally just like traced art. So like I'm just not a good artist and not a very morally ethical one. But I appreciate you for thinking that my art is good. I, I just have this mentality of like it could have been better. Now this two, next two questions really really pissed me off. <laughs> Best new gen anime and do you have a favorite song and musician? I've been planning like two channels, one channel about anime and one channel about like my favorite music and all that stuff. And in my mind, I was fuming because I, how did they know? Like, did, uh, do I have a mole in my shit? Am I Drake right now? But in all seriousness, I don't know how, but like sure. Uh, best new gen anime. If you're talking about like animes that were made with the recent technology, not like animes from 2000s, because that, that, that's literally like a lot of best. Gen animes you can think of. You can literally just go to my anime list and just go top anime. It's all gonna be new gen anime. But if I have to uh, give one anime that I really love that actually uses new technology, kind of like CGI 3D, then I would recommend uh, Hoseki no Kuni. It's this anime about like it's a blend of slice of life action and like philosophy. I don't know. It's just a real. It's just really good. It's just a really good work. I. I will talk about this in the, in the other channel that I will be making a video of but for right now it's probably gonna be released somewhere August or even September, I don't know but I'll just, I'll just be talking more about anime in that other channel and speaking about other channels, uh, do you have a favorite song and musician? I really adore Ken Shinezu, he's one of the most fucking unique artists out there and again about him, I'm gonna make a video about him in another channel I just, it's so fucking weird. How did I know? A favorite song, it constantly switches, but right now I really love every song from Awaka right now, from Unhappy Refrain. And again, I know this is kind of basic answer, but from, from the Vocaloid scene, but Rolling Girl is just 
<laughs> How do you make your downloads? I used to just make downloads in my mind. Like, what do I want to present? If I want to like present like three Minecraft YouTubers who like did some bad things, I'll search up their names in Google and just find like the best ones that I can pick, and then go to remove background. It's a really good uh, website if you want to remove background of a picture, especially of a person, and then just place it into like. I use Canva or Ibis Paint whenever I feel like it. If I use Ibis Paint if I want to be more kind of artistic. If I want to do more of a generic thumbnail, I'll just do Canva and just put text and like a little bit of shadow on the borders. See, that's all the questions. <laughs> thanks for the Q&A, y'all. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, I think this segment of the video will most likely be about me just telling a story. Specifically my story. I've always been talking about other people's stories or other stories. But I've never really talked about my own personal journey and I don't know, like I don't wanna do this like in the upcoming like a thousand subscribers, fifty thousand subscribers milestone videos, so, like I'll just do this right now. Um when I was a little kid <laughs> this sounds very generic but I really like YouTube <laughs> back then. I used to watch like some like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye just make money while playing video games and I wasn't really thinking of like the money aspect. I was like they're actually fucking living life just playing games that they love like that, that concept was really striking to me so when i was like about when I, when I was still in elementary i was making like city videos just filming me playing i don't know silver io or tuber simulator or anything that i could play in my phone and it, it, i actually one of my most popular videos is a 1000 view video of me playing on a nokia about like this 8-bit racing game that i garnered over a thousand views i don't know how and then fast forward into uh, 2020 when the pandemic happened, I started doing kind of like pirating. I was like downloading videos from Facebook of anime episodes and uploading it to YouTube. And I actually did garner um, I, 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 it's some, um, you know, my most viewed video ever created. Well, quote unquote created. That was about, I barely remember 26,000 views. Did that channel and actually decided to do uh, Roblox content inspired by you know those like uh, pink leaf kind of like doing text so that I don't have to do my voice. But then I kind of like did that. I uh, was actually giving that channel to my friends, my classmates, my family members, and it got to two two hundred fifty subscribers until I eventually just like kind of bored out of it. Just like my other friends that did YouTube with me. They kind of bored out of it, so we just all quit simultaneously. Until in, I think, May or March of 2022, I kind of like heard my parents having like issues about like debt or like money. So I was like, God, I really need to start a career. So I did YouTube back in March. I wasn't really even thinking about money. I was like, I just want a career. I was, I want, I just want a stable career. And this is what I've been wanting to do for so long. I think I just need to do it properly now. So I just want a couple of tutorials, just like five videos in one day when you release the channel, and I got it about like what ten views. But it was like like commentary videos, just like playing games that I like, just talking about whatever I find interesting, and that rapidly grew into what we know today. It's actually not mixed back then. I used to go a lot of pseudonames. Trust me, that's a very common trend among me. But now I'm always training. But I'm trying to just like have a stable identity in the internet, especially in real life as I'm finding my own identity. And currently we hit 1000 subscribers. I don't know how much I can thank you all for this incredible achievement that we've garnered. Like I just really hope that this whole thing can just continue in the future. I think that's my own issue now. It's like, that's like having the commitment to continue. But all I'm saying, thank you all. I'm so grateful for you all to just commit watching my content and supporting me. Like, I don't want to say it means the world to me, that's a little cringe to say, but it just, I really appreciate it all. And I'm trying to find ways to give it back to you all. Maybe making better videos, make, maybe like making a community out of this and giving some stuff away. But that's, that's all in the plannings. But again, thank you all for a thousand subscribers. I don't know, I don't know when I'll probably make another video, but 